Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I have another video for you, the word Bina, where the word Bina come from. So, a long, long time ago, when we were fighting the United States of America, uh, of America, uh, uh, the, 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 the guerrilleros that we were gonna, we were gonna fight, uh, they were bringing their wife with them, and so they were walking, walking everywhere with their women. And, and uh, they were kids burning in the way, you know, in the way, and there was no no milk to give to the, the kids uh, to eat. And so what they would do is just boil beans and give the, the ju bean juice to the babies. And that's why they start calling them beaners, because they were like, you know, those, those Mexican boy beaners, because they were like uh, um, drinking, drinking the the bean juice, you know, so, and that's where the word was born, like, uh, this, this, um, this, uh, this, 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 this story, this is a story like me going to visit to another town where, like, uh, this old, old man, like, 99 years old man, he told me the story about that and, uh, about, about, uh, a lot of things about the revolution, you know, and so he told me the word, the word, Beans come from. Cause he's bringing a lot of stuff in, and they say that they start, after they, they we start calling them gringos, they start calling us beaners. So, gringo is not really a bad word, so it was born in those days as, as well. So, 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 beaner is not a racist word or anything like that. So, it's just some word that was born in those days, and the little kids they didn't have me, um, milk to give them, so they would give them the bean juice, you know. That's how they. Uh, the, world, the world was born. Who told me this is one guy that I met in in another town. Like he was a he was a a French a French uh, a French kid. His father and mother were French, and they they served to the revolution to the revolution. And so he uh, he told me he told me like everything that his father told him and all that you know. The guy was was white, the skin, uh, blue eyes. So I never had seen a blue eyes man in my life when I, because I was a little kid. So and that's how how the word being was born. It's not really a racist word. Maybe you can take it like as a racist word, but uh, it's just an, an old word that people used to. Maybe it was born like you know to insult, but actually it doesn't mean anything. Like there is no meaning in the word, you know. <coughs> so. Yeah, so this guy told me the story, and I, I keep it in my mind. And when I came to the United States, um, I remember all those, and I say, okay, then if somebody called me a beaner or something like that, I didn't get upset about it. And then, and then, and then I asked him, do you know where the word beaner come from? And then he said, me, no, I just, I just know that it's a, it's a, it's a word that they, they used it for the Mexican. I said, well, you're, you're fucking stupid because you need to know what you're saying all the time. But I want to explain you today where where the word comes from, and I explain the story to him, and then I start hearing that the word is a racist word, like that, you know. But uh, actually, it's not. Really. Just just make sure that if you use it, it's a point of view, you know, because and you have to explain it and then the 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 meaning, because some of them they don't know. I know a lot of Mexicans that they don't know anything about about the Mexican culture, where the where the word gringo comes from, where the where the beanie word comes from and all that, you know, just to create racism and some some people think that it's creating racism and all that. Yeah, but it's an old guy. In the United in, in the in the Mexican Revolution, uh, there were some, some North Americans that fought that fought for Mexico as well. They joined to the fight for Mexico. Some of them they were captured and they were given the opportunity to fight in the Mexican side or die. So those those that they um, they they fought uh, by me Mexican forces, they start having babies, and that's why we have in Mexico people that is white with blue eyes. For example, in that area where, where I went, it's like um, was occupied for, by French people. So that guy that guy that he told me the story about the revolution and all that, he was he was his, his relative all way French. He's um. I was a little kid, and, and his son was maybe probably around 36 years, 
and he, he was like 99 years old and he was born he was green eyes and white skin um, like her mother I don't have any picture or any document but this story on story to tell you you know the how was the world was born so yeah that was I wanted to share this story with you guys so yeah, well, you guys know what's going on bye bye